It's reading time again, friends. I want you to go from um, your Reader 1D to 1E today. We're moving to that other book that was sent home with you. Open up to page 33. The story we're reading today is a little bit different than what we're used to. We're not going to have really like characters or a setting or a plot line. This is called an informational text, and that's where we're going to get information about a topic. The story title today is called Band Instruments, and so that kind of gives you a hint about what information you're going to be getting about band instruments, okay? Remember our rules, sit up nice and straight. When you see periods, please pause for just a second. Don't just read through and, and hurry, okay? Um, you're not going to see any dialogue marks today because we don't have any actual characters, all right? So whenever I say pause, I want you to pause the video, echo read it back, okay? Let's get started. Page 33, Band Instruments by Robin E. Scroggins, illustrated by Dale Tompkins. A band has three groups of instruments. Pause here. Percussion. Many percussion instruments are played by tapping or beating on them to make a sound. Sometimes small children play simple percussion instruments in a rhythm band. Pause here. Brass. A musician plays each brass instrument by blowing through a metal mouthpiece. He changes the sound by moving his lips. Sometimes he changes the sound by pressing valves. A musician changes the sound of the trombone by moving the slide. Pause. The smallest brass instruments make the highest sounds. The largest brass instruments make the lowest sounds. Pause. Before we turn the page, let's look on page 34 and 35. Let's look at each instrument and say the name. You can say it with me or you can pause it after I say it and repeat it to me, okay? The first one is a French horn, a trumpet, go over to page 35, a trombone, a tuba, and a baritone. Okay, those are all the brass instruments. Let's turn to page 36 and we'll continue reading. Woodwinds. Musicians play some woodwind instruments by blowing across an opening in the lip plate. They play other woodwinds by blowing through reeds. They change the sound by using their fingers to press keys or to cover holes. Pause here. The shorter instruments make higher sounds. The larger instruments make deeper sounds. You can pause here. Again, let's go ahead and take a look at each um, page 36 and 37. Let's look at these different woodwinds. Again, you can say it with me, or you can pause it and repeat it back, okay? There's the piccolo. I want you to remember that one for another story. The flute. Go to page 37. The clarinet. The oboe. The saxophone. and a bassoon. Okay guys, I'll see you back later. Bye. I hope you're ready to continue reading in our Reader 1E today. We're going to begin on page 38. Our story is titled All Together Now. We'll be reading chapter 1 called Let's Get Started. Our characters today are going to be musical instruments just like we learned about yesterday. They're going to have a lesson in kindness after they say something they really shouldn't have said and someone's feelings are going to get hurt. Remember, when you see a period, pause for a moment. Don't rush through. If you see dialogue marks, change your voice up so we can tell that others are talking, okay? When I ask you to pause, just pause the video and echo read right back to me. Let's go ahead. All Together Now by Jamie Turner. Illustrated by Tim Davis. Let's get started. 
As the clock struck seven, sounds of scraping and clicking filled the dark room. Trumpet was the first to scramble out of his black case. He flipped on the light. He played a long, high note. Pause here. It's time to get out. It's time to get out. It's time to get out and play music, he sang brightly. Here we come, here we come, tooted clarinet. Trombone pushed his slide out as far as it would go. He squeezed some drops of oil onto it. Then he slid it quickly back and forth. I hope we play some snappy music tonight, he said with a yawn. Pause. Oomph! Me too, grunted Tuba. He settled into his seat in the back row and shuffled through his sheets of music. Pause. French horn and baritone pressed their keys down lightly and spoke to the other instruments. Let's all get seated on time tonight and surprise Mr. Baton, they said. All r -r right, rumbled Drum as he took out his list of names. R -r Reply when I r -r read your name. Let's skip the names, whined Oboe. It's a waste of time. Everyone is here. Piccolo isn't, trilled Flute, polishing her silver coat with a soft rag. Pause. So what if Piccolo is missing, squeaked Oboe. She's so little that she doesn't matter at all. Her shrill voice gets on my nerves, Boom bassooned loudly. Yes, let's start without her, wheezed saxophone. Yes, yes, the others tooted rudely. Just then, a small voice piped up from the back corner. Pause. There stood Piccolo, looking at the other instruments sadly. I always thought you were my friends, she said. Her shine was gone, and her lip plate quivered as she spoke. The other instruments looked down in shame and pretended to be studying their music. No one said anything. Pause. Piccolo slowly crawled back inside her small case and shut the lid with a sad little click. A tiny, muffled sob floated up from the dark, lonely corner. Pause. Well, come on, everyone, snapped Oboe. Let's get started. Mr. Baton will be here soon. After you finish reading, you can start on your work test. We're going to continue reading our story all together now. We're going to start with Who is Missing? Chapter 2 on page 42. Before we begin, take a look at page 42. Look at the illustration at the bottom. Um, the long white stick that's in front of the um, music sheets right there, that's a baton. Okay, that's Mr. Baton who they've been waiting for. And the other, you can see the other musical instruments. If you remember where we left off, they were not kind to Piccolo yesterday. They said some things that really hurt Piccolo's feelings. So let's see what happens today whenever they go to play their music, but they don't have Piccolo with them. Here we go. Who is missing? Mr. Baton held himself stiff and tall as he spoke to the band. Tonight, he said, we are going to play a march called the Stars and Stripes Forever. We will perform it this summer at the 4th of July concert. Pause. As Mr. Baton passed out pages of music, the instruments buzzed with excitement. Then he stepped up to the front tapped briskly, and raised himself up to lead. One, two, one, two, he said. Pause. With one swift stroke, he started the instruments on the first note. The instruments swayed lightly as they played the lively march. All at once, Mr. Baton stopped the music. Pause. Stop, stop. This part is not right. He frowned at the empty seat next to Flute. We cannot do this march without Piccolo's help, he shouted. Where is she? 
The instruments shifted in their seats. Pause. I'm here, sniffled a high, wee voice. The room became still as all eyes turned to the back corner. A red-eyed piccolo peeked out of her little case. Pause. What are you doing back there? called Mr. Baton. Are you sick? The other instruments gasped quietly and looked down at the floor. What would Piccolo say? Pause. But, but, but I thought you didn't need me, she squeaked. I'm the smallest instrument in the band and fiddlesticks, roared Mr. Baton. Then he lowered his voice and spoke with gentleness. Piccolo. We cannot play our music without your help, he said. No one can play your part. Please come. Pause. And he went back to her case and helped her out. Hand in hand, they returned to the front of the room. Flute dabbed the wetness from Piccolo's keys, and clarinet opened her music to the right page. Pause. Let's start over said Mr. Baton, tapping the music stand. When it was time for Piccolo's part, Mr. Baton nodded at her. She stood and sang sweetly and brightly as Mr. Baton smiled. Pause. When the march was over, the other instruments began clapping. Hooray for Piccolo! Hooray for Piccolo! They chanted joyfully. Boys and girls, that's the end of our story today, but I don't want to end it right here. I want to remind you of something. We have been talking a lot lately in class about the fruits of the Spirit. Think back at what some of those were. Two that really jumped to mind are kindness and gentleness. Do you think those instruments showed kindness and gentleness? No, they didn't. God made each and every one of us different for a purpose. He doesn't want us to all be the same. We all have different talents, different things that we're good at, different personalities, and that's what makes us all so special. So I want you to think about that today. Are you showing the fruits of the spirits to others? Now's a really good time to be showing that to your family members or whoever it is that might be uh, keeping you during the day. Show that gentleness, that love, that self-control, that kindness to them, that peace, that patience. We've talked about that a lot, so I'm hoping that I get to hear all kinds of stories about how the fruit of the Spirit is just bursting from each of you. I hope you enjoyed our story today.